Hi, I'm Dr Michelle Miller from the University of Warwick Medical School, where I lead the Sleep Health and Society Research Programme. We've been thinking about the ways in which the pandemic has affected our lives. And in particular, I've been thinking about the way in which it's affected our sleep and why that's important and what we can do to improve it. Some people have been saying that they've been sleeping longer during the pandemic and having more vivid dreams. Other people haven't been able to sleep. Then the reason why you may have been sleeping longer is might be because you've had more opportunity to sleep because you haven't had to commute. And by extending your sleep, you extend the period in which you can have dreaming sleep, which occurs in the latter part of the night. You might also process what's happening during the day and that might result in vivid dreams. Other people might be more stressed and anxious and unable to wind down in the evening and go to sleep. And that might be why you're not getting enough. So why is it important that we do get enough sleep? Well, sleep is important in that it enables us to fight infections, it reduces inflammation, it also helps regulate glucose, all of which are very important in the fight against COVID-19. It also has an effect on our mood and our emotions and our ability to concentrate. So what can we do to improve our sleep? Well, ideally, you need to set your sleep clock by getting as much light early in the day. So if you're going to go for a walk or do some exercise, try doing that outside early in the day. And then in the evening, reduce light exposure. So dim down the lights, avoid going on your gadgets, try and look at news updates earlier in the day. Try and avoid watching telly late into the evening and perhaps listen to some music or read a book instead. It's also important that if you've got worries that you try and write those down before you go to sleep. Have a light dinner and try to include um, things like leafy vegetables, whole grains, nuts, oily fishes, as these contain compounds that boost the sleep hormone melatonin and reduce the stress hormone cortisol. Avoid alcohol and um, caffeine just before bed as well. It is expected that the pandemic will have affected your sleep cycle, but do try to maintain a regular time when you get up and go to bed as that will help. So I just want to end by wishing you sweet dreams. Stay safe. I'm Dr Michelle Miller from the University of Warwick. Thank you for listening.